In 1945, the bloodiest war in the history of mankind had come to an end. The world rejoiced and celebrated, for they had again achieved peace and liberty for more than six years of hardship against the oppressive and cruel Axis powers. But a new war emerged from its aftermath, a war that would divide the world and put it on the brink of an all-out nuclear war. The Cold War The Cold War is a geopolitical and military tensions between the Communist United Socialist Soviet Republic or Soviet Union and the Capitalist United States of America. This conflict started when the Soviet Union annexed the liberated states in Eastern and Central Europe after the Second World War. This allowed the USSR to put a pro-communist dictators and assert influence in its satellite states, threatening the democratic countries on the western portion of Europe and North America. Because of this, the western superpowers established a military alliance to contain and repel any Soviet attack or expansion in the vulnerable countries near the satellite states of the USSR. This alliance came to be known as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO. In 1949, after a three-decade civil war, Mao Zedong's People's Liberation Army emerged victorious against Chiang Kai-shek's Kuomintang Nationalist Government. After their victory, communists took over the mainland and founded the People's Republic of China. On that same year, the Soviets established an alliance with the Chinese communists, alarming other neighboring Asian countries and the Western powers. In 1950, the communist-backed socialist state North Korea invaded the United States-backed capitalist South Korea, sparking a three-year war in the Korean Peninsula, which took the lives of over 5 million people. This event persuaded other Asian countries to form a military alliance to contain communist influence in the Far East. In 1954, under the advice of the United States, a new organization was formed in the Asian continent that came to be known as the CETO or Southeast Asia Treaty Organization a nation equivalent of NATO which aims to stop communist gains in the continent and provide collective defense for the member states. The CETO is comprised of eight countries, the Philippines, Pakistan, Thailand, United States, France, Great Britain, Australia, and New Zealand. Philippines and Thailand is the only Asian nations to join the alliance. It is because of their strong diplomatic relationship with the Western powers and the threat of communism within their borders, while Burma and Indonesia, as well as Malaysia, refused to join because of ongoing internal issues in their countries. The six other member states which is outside Asia joined the organization because of their individual interests in the continent and on the organization itself. Although CETO is modeled after NATO, the alliance has no joint commands to other member state forces, hindering the connection between nations. In addition, internal disagreements and four individual contributions resulted in an uncooperative alliance militarily. In 1955, after the collapse of Indochina, the communist-aligned nation of North Vietnam tried to unify Vietnam by using military force, sparking a civil war against the U.S.-backed South Vietnam. This conflict emphasized the ineffectiveness of the alliance. Lack of cooperation and willingness in the intervention in the Vietnam War caused a major geopolitical disaster for the Asian, Australian, and Western nations. By 1970s, questions about the significance of the CETO arose. The withdrawal of Pakistan and the French financial support to the alliance marked the beginning of the end of the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization. After the defeat of the Americans in Vietnam and the fall of Saigon, the significance of the alliance was vanished. It catalyzed the dissolvement of the organization. In 1975, the Council voted for yes to abolish the alliance, and on June 30, 1977, the organization was dissolved. This is a total failure for the Western powers and a staggering success for the communists.